and then of Hongkai. And rather present our white plus, this is our thin device, a white plus or cross device function artificial. Uh, this is what has been done in cooperation with my colleagues and my advisor, Jin and Hak. The center, there are two factors. One is that this is very useful for users to deploy vertical devices with different factors. Second, devices can provide various functionalities. There are system functionalities like camera, sensor, and app functionalities such as growing, payment, and so on. Considering these trends, we can predict that many users will want to utilize vertical devices concurrently in the near future. Then, what if devices can share their functionalities with each other? There must be many opportunities to provide new user experience as system use cases. Uh, the first case is for sharing a system functionality. In this case, we can create a sensor based game on Tavoli while using sensors for the smartphone. Sorry. So, uh, this video is, doesn't work now. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, so it's more of a comfortable uh, vessel for game control. Uh, actually, this tab is supported by the uh, existing work view. This is a systematic solution for IO sharing. Uh, the next case is for sharing the uh, sharing, uh, sharing, uh, functional. Uh, we suppose that a, a tablet is a public device and a user tries to, uh, tries to use the Instagram to the in service of the Facebook. This video, of course, doesn't work. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, actually, uh, it, is, it is not secure to uh, perform the login service. Of Device. Uh, this that uh, if you use the functionality uh, on your personal device, it's much safer than the previous one. Uh, surprisingly, there are many solutions to achieve these benefits of smart device uses. One is based on application level approach. Uh, they try to share specific functionality through app operation. But it is difficult and not a lot for app developers to create work device applications, and they cannot support a modified legacy application. The other solutions are based on a system level approach. They propose a cross device platform that support functional features to create a modified applications, but they are designed to utilize only IO system functionality. For example, we have suggested a systematic solution for hydro sharing and, and Fox proposed a surface sharing solution. So their design cannot support that functionality is like a low or premium and non IO system functionality is flip, such as clipboard or notification. So our goal is to design a multi device wide platform that enables modified version applications to share a broad range of functionalities across devices. This provides us. Before talking about our system, we need to know how functionality sharing is done in a single device, and we can extend the existing concept to multi device environment. On both the wide platforms are designed to allow applications to share their functionalities by using the node procedure code. This RPC scheme enables applications to uh, some, fun some functions from different applications as if they are in the same process model. Especially, we focus on Android, one of the popular mobile platforms, and Android internally provides wide-eyed mechanism for artists, artists' team. We 
both applications have different memory spaces. So the method provides five channels to the applications. Through this channel, the front application can import the artificial methods to invoke the function of the server application. We call this method a posit. After receiving the posit, the server will execute the corresponding artificial function. And if there is a return value of this function, the server will return to the client through this channel. In this way, artificial scheme is done, done for functionality sharing in a single device. So we extend the existing artist scheme of two multi device environments. This design is a work for two reasons. First, the artist is transparent to the application layer. So we don't have to modify legacy applications. Second, all applications should utilize the artist scheme to, to share both system functionalities and app functionalities. In this, we can support a broad range of functionalities. So Mobile Plus will provide a cross-device artist scheme to applications. It will give an illusion as if applications interact with each other on the same device. To this end, we should address two problems. First, we need to extend binder application mechanism to provide cross-device binder channels. Through these channels, uh, the front application can go the passive to the other device transparent. Second, we need to support artificial function execution of different devices. Uh, to address the first problem, we utilize two binder channels and one network channel to create the cross device binder channel. A uh, mobile plus will create these channels by intercepting and forwarding a seed concept to the other device. The seed concept is a special concept to create the binder channel in a single device. After that, subsequent concept from front application will follow these channels automatically. Then, the extension is sufficient for achieving our goal. As you guess, the answer is no. The previous extension cannot guarantee successful execution of garbage functions. Sometimes, garbage functions may fail due to several cases. Today, I will talk about the first and the second cases due to time constraints. First, a reference type values can be passed as garbage arguments such as drives, file descriptors, and by the books. They are device specific, so they get evaluated from different devices. We need to handle these types of arguments. Uh, suppose that a camera service tries to deliver some image frames to camera camera application on a different device by using shared memory. First, the service will call the concept which has the file descriptor of its shared memory, number 5. But there is a dosage shared, shared memory on the front side, so the white cross will detect this argument and copy the corresponding image frame to a new shared memory on the front side. Then, the white cross change the original argument into the new file descriptor, number 7. After that, camera application can access the image frame through this argument correctly. Uh, we have the different we have the different reference type values in similar way. Secondly, some execution context can be can be uh, generated by functionalities which include uh, activities. Activities are UI windows and these activities are pushed to an activity stack according to their personals. For example, when the experiment detects a login service from a page to Facebook, their activities are placed on the same stack like this one. 
So these activities that can represent the historical relationship, uh, by using this contact, the Facebook can identify and verify the story of the Instagram. Also, uh, this case indicates that this public activity should be active and the other should be closed. Uh, using this contact, the mobile government can control the state of, state of each activity correctly. In this case, the Instagram activity is closed, so it can wait for any ruling result from the Facebook. However, this um, description context cannot be maintained in order to us to follow, because devices have separate activity tab. So this situation can lead to pressure of these applications. So we need to maintain this separate activity stack as if they are a single activity stack. To this stack, we employ the virtual activity. This is an artificial activity to maintain some execution context across devices. On the server side of virtual activity has Facebook identified this color and the front side of virtual activity allows the Instagram to flow. So he can wait for any ruling result from the basic uh, different device. So we try to check three questions, uh, but in this talk, I will focus on uh, the first and second question due to time constraints, uh, functional coverage and comparable stuff. For our environment, we utilize uh, two Nexus 6 devices with M plus and they are on the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, we, first, we evaluate Wi-Fi plus by using 22 use cases, and among them, 20 use cases require a long independent by the channel, and Android can support them successfully. On the other hand, uh, two use cases require a working independent uh, by the channels, so these channels should be created the same pair of devices. Also, Atlas can support them with the user's proper choice for the uh, channel creation. Uh, these are unusual cases, and you can details about this issue in our paper. The second is about the comparable to Atlas. Uh, actually, different Android versions may have different artificial, artificial functions. It means we cannot support of functional sharing in this case. So we compare the five latest Android versions to know how different their artist functions are. This figure shows uh, the comparison result between Android Rollingbox and the other latest versions such as Google and National. Uh, they have 50 to 79 percent of the same artist functions and 10 to 30% of artificial functions are different, but translated. It means uh, we can mitigate the differences by translating artificial messages between the different Android versions. Uh, actually, we implemented a live, live translation mechanism between Lollipop and Google, and we succeeded in supporting most use cases except, except, except for camera and location functionalities. Uh, this is our conclusion. Uh, we designed a uh, device provider platform to provide cross-device learning scheme. So we can we can support a broad range of functionalities without any modification or regression applications. Lastly, uh, we expect M plus to accelerate development of creative applications to provide uh, no value experience. Uh, thank you for listening to my presentation.